Hello everybody, hope that you are doing very well and welcome back to another cryptocurrency technical analysis where in today's video I'm going to be covering the insane drop that we have seen today on Bitcoin, where this is likely now to end and what we can expect in the coming weeks really because it's obviously been a very, 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 very big move to the downside uh, in my opinion to have been expected, okay? So uh, me and the team were ready for this downs, downs uh, movement to be honest, so we are very happy indeed. Uh, so I hope that you are too watching this, if not then you can uh, hopefully learn why the move came down and where you can expect it to turn around so i hope that you thoroughly enjoy this one and let's get straight into the charts here so 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 i mean where to begin obviously we've just seen this 20 well nearly 30 percent downside movement in a day okay so obviously today since the 12 o'clock we've seen 23 percent from where we are now but obviously 30 percent in total for the day it's a been a very red day indeed we're talking about it across the markets as well so it's it's not just bitcoin okay so we take a look at gold okay let's take a look a quick look at gold and we can see and as you all know, I love the way that gold has topped out and, you know, people will argue that this is not technical at all, uh, all to do with the coronavirus and things. But you can see here the, the fact that this was an exact measured move on gold topped out at the exact sort of dollar before an extreme decrease in price. That's pretty insane how that works out now, uh, as well as on... Um, you know, you have to just take it, you know, take a look at oil, for example, take a look at the stock market. You can just see, you know, this is the biggest European red day period in its history. The biggest red day in European indexes history. So that's very, very, very red indeed. OK, you can see it across the stock market. So I have to take in a quick look at those. Uh, is it any surprise at all that Bitcoin is weak? Uh, no, not at all, in my opinion. People are not going to be uh, taking their money out of, you know, essentially pretty safe, uh, you know, equities, Amazon, Apple, etc., 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 and thinking, you know, the, the economy is crashing right now. Where am I going to put my money in Bitcoin? The most riskiest asset in the world or one of the most riskiest assets in the world. You know, that is not, uh, in my personal opinion, what happens. And I guess we can all agree that that is definitely not happened. So Bitcoin is, is definitely not a safe haven uh, as of yet. Maybe in a few years, but as of now, no, it's totally a trader's uh, dream. So what can we see in terms of trading? What's happened over the last few days? Well, as you all know, over the last few weeks, I have been uh, in my short position. And I've had no real urgency to enter into any longs, okay, until the chart proves to me, take a long, I will happily keep shorting, basically. And uh, that has been my uh, opinion uh, since yesterday. So I want, before I go over what's happening now, I want to talk through pretty briefly uh, why I was in a short from last night. And I actually really like the short position that I took last night. Um, I was talking about it on the Contenders live stream, okay? So on the Contenders live stream yesterday, I was talking about this short I was in and how I was underwater on the short. OK, so I'm down about one thousand dollars and I was explaining, you know, I have a quite big confidence that this is going to drop down lower. So although I am underwater in this short, I have no, um, you know, no reason to close it out. OK, I'm still expecting that was movement. Obviously, there's no guarantees that we were going to drop down. Uh, so, I, you know, I would have closed that out if we, you know, really moved that above the channel. OK, so this channel. Uh, but there was no reason for me to close out on this movement back up. Uh, my opinion was that we come down, we swing failure pattern the lows. And this was my exact, uh, you know, sort of saying, um, you know, we've just swing failure the pattern the lows. That is going to get a lot of people bullish again. OK, so people see the swing failure, they turn bullish, they think it's going to push up a lot higher. OK, but in my opinion, uh, I was saying that I think this swing failure pattern is going to get a rise and it will be a good short position. How well that aged? Because we can see from the swing failure pattern, you did get a rise in price. You probably took a lot of stops from this high and this high. And then upon taking the stops, you have just formed ultimately another lower high there on the on the bigger scale and fallen extremely down to the downside. Um, so on my main account, I have been locking in profit. I'm not going to lie. But on the challenge account, I've, I've left this one open just to just to just, just, just you know, why not? Um, so yeah, that was the short position from the stream. It's that same position. Well, I've compounded it a little bit on as we were dropping through levels. Uh, but this is the same one from yesterday and goes to show you why you have to be uh, calm and collected. Well, you know, when you're a little bit underwater, you are going to reap the war of rewards eventually. So this is obviously now, well, I'm going to, uh, the what I'm going to do with this position is close it out before the withdrawal time on BitMEX. Obviously, you can only withdraw every one, one o'clock every day. So I'm going to wait till one and I'll close out this position and I'll withdraw it. Um, because this for me is the challenge account finished. It's, uh, it's met its target. Obviously, I was doing a two to 20 Bitcoin challenge. And now, obviously, on BitMEX, I've hit over 10 Bitcoin. On Binance, I've hit over 10 Bitcoin now. Sold everything yesterday at 7,800. We're now at 6,000. So well over well over 
uh, 10 Bitcoin on that. And in total, that brings me off of my challenge accounts uh, to a total of around 26 B B Bitcoin. Okay, so that's pretty, pretty, pretty nice. Uh, so I'll be closing down these challenge accounts and starting fresh again. So I'll start again with a uh, new uh, one Bitcoin account and I'll trade it again to 20 Bitcoin. <laughs> Why not? Uh, so that's to look forward to if you're a champion. Uh, but in the meantime, what does this lead for Bitcoin as a whole? Okay, so for Bitcoin as a whole. So let's talk about what's happening now. Okay, so what, what's happening right now? Obviously, my opinion is that we are well, that we were coming down for this WXY correction. Uh, obviously, I've had a few different counts, and this is you know as with all Elliott Wave counts, they are adjusting to the times, adjusting to what's the most likely. Okay, and um, for me. As we were coming down, the most likely switched for me for the WXY. Okay, so from this around 7,800, we can safely say we've come down to this 5,600 region of the target for this WXY. Why did I switch to this? Because of this flat. Okay, so we're looking there as the WX, and then look at this for the Y A B. Okay, you see where the B up here came like up, you know, basically for almost double top, yeah almost double top but that is really looking like a flat isn't it just the fact that you've come from low to high back up to the same high and rejected then come back down through the weekly it's looking very 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 weak indeed so i was aiming this for a flat obviously a three three come down in one two three four five we've come down very very quickly on this last leg but nevertheless we have came down okay uh, so that then leaves you like what's what's happening now and i think we're forming a range well it's quite well you know i i said this before the range even started i said thought we were going to form into a range and form into a range we have done so th this is the channel that i'm looking at here okay so we've obviously gone from the lows back up to the highs to the lows to the midpoint to the lows to the high okay to midpoint high and now we're hovering around the midpoint again uh, I think, in my opinion, you want to have a lot of uh, calm and collectness right now. Okay, let's say you did not short. Well, I gotta say, I feel very, very sorry for you because you're probably heavily wrecked. Um, and that's not for me saying you no know, anything, but you know, yeah, you gotta have some risk management. If if you have been, if you have been lost a lot of money today, yeah, you gotta work on that risk management because, yeah. Obviously, big move down today, but um, yeah, from where this leaves you now, I think you've got to be a bit careful with the shorts. Okay, you have to you have to imagine what's happened right now. We have just moved down twenty three percent in a day, uh, so you you can always bounce straight back up really really quickly. Okay, in in a in a short squeeze fashion, you have to say to yourself, is that the most likely? Is it the most likely that we short squeeze all the way back up from here? I would say no, it's not actually the most likely. I'm not expecting this to go up to eight thousand tomorrow sort of thing. I think the most likely is that we range here for a little bit more. Okay, and I would say that is really between 6,400. Okay, so this could push up to 6,400. But between 6,400 and 5,400, you've got this $1,000 range. Yes, it's a very big range indeed, but nevertheless, a tradable range. Okay, so on my main account, that's what I've been doing today. It's not been too difficult, along with Ethereum. Ethereum's bounced off of some major levels, by the way. So ETH off of monthly support, uh, ETH BTC off of the 618. So you've seen about 10, 12% bounces on them. Very nice indeed. Um, but you know we are reaching some major supports but on the grand scheme of things you have to question is this going to hold okay so is this going to hold yes no yes no obviously there's no guarantee it holds yes or no we have to always work in probabilities that's what we're that's the game we're playing right now i would say it's probably not the most likely that it holds when you look at the grand scheme of things when we looked at the stock market okay we just took a look at the stock market very very weak we just look at got we took a look at gold very weak we look at we took a look at look at um how did we take a look at took a quick look at oil oil was very weak you know the whole market in general is very weak does that give you great confidence in a bitcoin bounce i mean not really if i'm honest so uh, the way that i'm managing this is i'm trading the range currently i'm just going to be trading the range uh and you know that that's for me is a, yeah well as mentioned that thousand dollar range is pretty big but nevertheless it's it's definitely tradable it's, it's not not too difficult of a range uh, okay and uh, that kind of leaves you, um, you know, if we move back up, you've got 6,400 resistance. And then really, you, you know, you, you've got to come back up to where you where you broke down from that 7,400. So another thousand dollar move. But to the downside, I'm really looking at 5,400, 5,000. And then really, if we break 5,000, you, you're going to get that very likely quick drop down to, uh, you know, fill that gap. You have to remember that that gap is still there. OK, so we still do have that lower gap. Okay, that lower gap sits at uh, 3,570. You know, I'm not saying that's going to be filled. Not saying that is going to be filled, but I'm just saying that remember that we do have that gap possibility down there at 3,570. Just low, like we have a gap at 11,910. <laughs> um, you know, 
these gaps don't have to be filled, but you just have to remember the possibility that there's always there that they uh, they can do. Okay, Bitcoin does like to fill the gaps, and we do have that last one of the lows down at 3,570. That's the last one to the bottom side, okay? Uh, but yeah, I'm not really so much of a gap trader. I just thought I'd bring that to your attention. And um, yeah, I suppose final words for me are i think the most important thing in your mind should be right now instead of trying to time the lows you know who cares if you don't buy the bottom okay just as who cares if you don't buy the bottom in all of this just as like i as i showed that, that tweet at the start you know there's been so many times where you could have tried to buy the bottom and you have been wrecked every single time you've tried to buy the bottom so why just not wait for a sign of strength why not just wait for bitcoin to show you a reason to long which i has not done on all of this downwards movement so far so you know i'll happily stay in my short when it actually shows me some strength well, that's when I will close a short and go into a long position. Not before. Definitely not before. Have no, I have not, I, I don't care. My ego is totally, who cares? I don't want to long the bottom. I literally do not want to long the bottom. I'm not that guy. I want to be safe, want to make money. And, uh, you know, that's all I really care about is making money. Uh, if you do not know how to recognize strength, if you do not know how to recognize this weakness, if you do not know how to recognize that this swing failure pattern was just an amazing short opportunity, uh, well, then I can recommend you chart champions. <laughs> Happy to always shield this because, like, these are some of the comments from today, uh, you know, f f obviously from this live stream yesterday where I was just, you know, really uh, highlighting to my group that, you know, I'm, I'm underwater in this short, but I have full confidence this is going to play out. And, um, you know, that obviously transpired onto the members who otherwise would have closed their shorts but you know thankfully held on to their shorts um as this guy said you know yeah i've, I've finished that two to 20 bitcoin challenge so i'm going to start that again uh so if you if you want to see me live trade another two to 20 bitcoin then again champions members and um uh, you know like some of these some of these other comments uh from this morning like uh you know people would have never been in the short if they were if it wasn't for my live stream yesterday so that makes me very you know proud as a trader because obviously i traded it really well and then proud as a mentor and teacher to see those kind of comments is just uh yeah it's really really well that's why i do this that is that's why i do this period you know to see some of the comments from people you know that i'm like changing their lives that i'm making them money it's just oh, it's 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 amazing it really is amazing so i, I thoroughly enjoy it and yeah, if, if you need that kind of guidance, if you need that kind of help, then, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm here for you. Uh, if, if you would like, it's up to you. But um, I think you'll love it. So I think that's all that I wanted to say today. Obviously, I'll stay in this short until one, one o'clock tomorrow. Obviously, I've sold everything on Binance as well. So, um, yeah, I'm going to start those challenge counts again. For me, they're just a bit of fun. You know, to, ultimately, they're a bit, of, a bit of fun for me. A bit of a challenge, I suppose, to do during the live streams. Um so yeah, I'm, I'm pretty content that that is now finished. I'll start that again. And I think that's all that I really wanted to mention to you all. Um, yeah, I suppose, yeah, as I said, lasting words, you know, don't try and be the hero. Don't try and jump in front of something. Don't 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 think that you need to long the bottom, you know. They're, just think about this. Even if you've lost money, that's, that's you know, I, I imagine the majority probably are going to have lost money, okay. So I have to, you know, take compassion in that. And, and, you know, if you've lost money, don't beat yourself up about it. You just have to think there is going to be so many opportunities, so many opportunities coming up over the next few weeks, over the next few months. Uh, you just need to keep a level head okay not throw away the last bit of money that you may have you know try and build back build yourself back up and, and you know really keep going there were, there's been many times in my trading career where i'm sure I, I would have wanted to give up and uh how thankful i am that i never gave up to be honest so you know hopefully you can use myself i suppose as inspiration for that and uh you know never get never give up if you give up you're a loser period giving up is a 100 percent loss if you do not believe in your dreams then who else is going to nobody so believe in yourself believe you can do it and um you know I, I i honestly believe i hope that i can be evidence and proof that you know you really can make it and make some seriously seriously good money in this trading game it's it's really is life-changing so um you know, if you did lose some money, don't beat yourself up and just, you know, continue to study, continue to learn. I think if you're subscribed to my channel at the very least, you are eager to learn. OK, so, yeah, I, I you know, I appreciate that you're here and you're watching. So thank you very much indeed. Um, so, yeah, that will be my final words for you. Uh, this is the range to be trading. We can definitely push up overnight. Uh, but I think the, the next push up for me is another compound opportunity on a short. OK, I don't think we're just going to V shape up from here seeing how the market is a, as a whole. I'll take it another step at a time. Obviously, I'm I'm not open to uh, I'm not against like fully against longing. I will open a long and close my short if I see the proper reasonings. Again, I want to actually see some proper reasonings, which at the moment I just don't have. So um, you know, taking it one step at a time, very calm and collected as always. I'm not going to rush into anything, and I'll continue to literally crush this market as I have done over the last 
well literally since i've entered it a few years ago now on crypto and then on the stock market the last coming up 10 years now 10 years on the stock market but um this is like one of the first major times of a actual like massive black swan event it's just it is actually really interesting for me to trade i'm, I'm absolutely loving it across all the markets across all those markets i'll show you that mcdonald's short that i'm in by the way because that was that has to be one of the best shorts you're going to see okay so where is this this is going to be the last thing i i mentioned and then i'm going to close off of this stream but uh this was my uh, i'm not even going to be able to find it oh uh, this is a bit embarrassing isn't it on 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 the video um <laughs> Um, trying to find it, trying to find it, trying to find it. Yeah, here we go. McDonald's. This this was my McDonald's short. I'm only loading this up so you can actually sort of see the evidence. Uh, the only reason why I like to show this evidence is because there's so many fakes in this space. You have to think we're in a space with a lot of scammers, a lot of fake people. You know, you're gonna you're probably gonna have looked on Twitter this morning and uh, seen about a hundred comments. Oh, I shorted the top. I shorted the top. You know, I get. I bet none of them actually showed evidence of entering any short positions, or if they did, they were like one one dollar position sizes. You know, there's just so many scammers. So. That's why, kind of why I like to give evidence, I suppose, that, you know, I actually have skin on the line. But, uh, yeah, this was a McDonald's short from $270 all the way at the top. And now we are sat on MCD all the way. And this is uh, from a Gartley pattern, by the way. This is a really, 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 really nice pattern. MCD, look at this now, coming down to that weekly. Uh, look at that pretty perfect indeed so it's coming down further than what i expect obviously this gapped down today it's that gap down today but <clears throat> coming down you know down to that lower weekly level so uh yeah that was a insane mcdonald's short absolutely insane one of the biggest but biggest companies in the world and i shorted the top of it so pretty content about that one but um yeah i hope that you've enjoyed this video thank you uh, once again i'm going to stop saying thank you i'm going to stop saying anything more hope that you've enjoyed this video uh from the bottom of my heart i hope that you are not worried not scared not frantic not rushing into anything take your time stay peaceful stay calm you know one of the best defenses against uh viruses I, well, this is not this is obviously not financial advice nor nor any sort of advice but for me positivity can help okay so you have to stay positive that's going to help your immune system so stay happy stay stay with a big smile on your face and you know we're going to get through this do not worry um i'm here for you let's go vamos <laughs> Thank you very much, and I'll catch you in the next one. Oh, yeah, I will mention that one last thing. I was going to put this on Instagram, uh, but because of the length of the video, I tried to put it on Instagram, and it didn't upload, but, um, you know, I will do another video uh, in the day for Instagram, but this one obviously is going on YouTube. So, cheers, thanks, and goodbye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>